All right, we're gonna talk about some measurements that you would make on the main bearing, and you could make these same measurements on the camshaft um, main bearings, as well as the connecting rod um, journals. So we're looking at the journal right here. This is the main, um, the main bearing journal uh, that supports the crankshaft as it rotates in the engine. All right, so uh, there's a couple measurements. We're concerned about the overall diameter of the crankshaft journal. So this main journal, we're concerned about how how wide it is. There'll be a specification for a minimum um, width uh, that the crankshaft has to meet in order to uh, be reused. Um, and then we'll talk about two separate measurements. So the first of those I'm going to demonstrate with this cup. And this is a little bit of a simple example, but I think it, it illustrates the point really well. So if you can imagine this cup as the journal itself. The first measurement that I'm concerned about is, is, is taper. So if we look at the cup on this side, the diameter is larger than on this side. And so that's a measurement that I'm concerned with when I'm, when I'm measuring the um, journal of this crankshaft. So I want to make sure that one side of the, of the crankshaft journal is not larger than the other side. In order to do that, I'm going to grab my dial indicator and I'm going to be careful not to scratch the surface and I'll measure at its largest point on one side. Now I want to be careful not to get too far over to the shoulder and where it meets the fillet, the rounded portion of the crankshaft. So I want to make sure that I avoid that. I'm going to make a measurement, I'll record the value, and then I'll make a measurement on the opposite side and record that value. That will give me the tape. That will determine whether or not this journal is shaped in such a way that it has a uh, decrease in diameter from one side to the other. Obviously it could be faced in this direction as well, so there would be a minimum specification for taper of this journal. The next thing that I'm concerned about, I can illustrate with this cup as well, is an out of round condition. This uh, crankshaft journal should be perfectly round, meaning that if I were to take the diameter in several points as I measure it around this cup, it would be the same. If this was out of round, a condition like this, one of the diameters would be smaller than the other. And the engine should have a specification for an out of round, uh, the minimum amount of out of round that this journal can be. In order to measure out of round, I want to be take consideration this oil passage. I wouldn't want to measure inside there and get an inaccurate measurement. An out of round measurement can be made something like this. I take the measurement, I record the value, and then I rotate my measuring device and I measure another value right here. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I measure this in two or three different spots along uh, around the cylinder and make sure that the journal itself meets that minimum, um, that, that it doesn't have more than a certain quantity of out of round taper or minimum diameter. So let's say that I do have a problem. Let's say the diameter of this or the taper out of round is out of specification. That doesn't necessarily mean that I need to get rid of the crankshaft. This can be taken to a machine shop and they can add material to the journal and then machine it down to be within specifications. Now, if I were to machine or change the, the, the diameter of one of the main bearings, or main journals, I would want to ensure that the rest of the main journals of the crankshaft or camshaft that I'm, that I'm measuring uh, meets the same uh, specification. So, you would do this measurement, out of round taper and minimum uh, diameter on crankshafts and camshafts, including the um, uh, connecting rod journals on this crankshaft.